Hello guys and welcome to my 30th PHP tutorial in my series of PHP tutorials. Well, I'm sorry I haven't made any uh, tutorials lately, but um, it's because I just got home from a um, soccer camp in uh, Italy today. And um, well, let's just say it this way, I haven't really had any time to uh, make any tutorials down there, so of course I didn't. But um, now I am back and it was a great trip to Italy, so um... Now I'm back on the top and ready to make some tutorials. Well, as you see in Richard next of HP, we're testing for a lot of things, so um, in this tutorial, we're not really going to do a lot. First of all, you create a variable called um, confirmation code, and that should be set to equal to md5 uniq. ID range and a semicolon. Well, this will create a variable called confirmation code and that will be equal to a unique random number. Well, not a random number, but um, a random set of um, numbers and letters. And uh, now we're going to do something that is not actually needed, but um, it can be a good thing to have. So um, create a variable called name and set that equal to strip, well you know, not strip, but strip text. And in there you should have this. Username. Okay, so we'll, what we're doing right here is that we say um, that the variable name, what that variable should do is that it should strip out the tags in um, the username field so what you put inside right here make sure that's what you got in um, your register.html file well I can show you right now actually if you just open up register.html then you see username in the username field the variable uh, you type in will be stored in a variable called username so um, that's why you put username in here so it'll strip out the tags in the username field and uh, the reason of doing this is because that you know some people can actually hack on your site using uh, HTML tags so you know they can um, do bad stuff and uh, we, you know we don't want them to do bad stuff so that's why we do this and now a new variable called um, pass and that should be equal to strip tags post and surprisingly enough we're going to have password or whatever your variable is called in um, register.html oh it's called pass so actually we're going to name this variable password and this one in here should be pass and um, this actually does the same thing it um, stores a variable called password and what that variable will do is that it will strip out all the tags in the password field and now also strip out all of the tag in the email field so say email equals strip tags And in the parameters you put post and in here we should have email I believe that's what my variable is called isn't it it is called email yep so I was right so um, we um, what this uh, block of code that I have selected right here will do is that it will um, generate a um, random set of numbers and letters and store it in a variable called confirmation code and then we have a variable that will strip out all of the tags in the username field and a variable called password that will strip out all of the tags in the password field and same thing with username so you know uh, the users can try to do bad things and um now we don't really have much to do so create a new variable called sql set it equal to um insert into temp so what this um 
query will do is that it will insert something into the table temp and I believe you already created that table well I hope so or else you know you might get a little bit confused here but I'm sure we did create that table and what we're going to um, do in that table is that we're going to set the code field so make sure you have a field called code in there and that's going to be set equal to confirmation code comma username should be equal to name and the password should be set equal to password and finally the email field should be set equal to email and now finally we need to say insert query oil insert result and then that should be equal to my sql underscore query sql and I feel like I already did explain this uh, well enough so I'm just going to skip right to this line well what this SQL um, string contains is that it'll insert into temp so insert something into the temp well this pretty much gains ashes to the table temp and it'll set the field code equal to confirmation code and confirmation code is equal to a random set and random and unique set of um, letters and numbers and it'll set the username field equal to um, the name or you know the username you typed in but with no tags in it and um, it'll set the password equal to the password you typed in but with no tags in it and the same thing with the email and again with no tags in it and then finally this uh, variable right here insert result will perform this query right here so um, that's all I get for this tutorial. I can't wait to um, do my next tutorial. So um, I guess I'll see you there.